I should probably start with what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean hours of moving boxes around PowerPoint charts and even more hours fiddling around with Excel. It means understanding the organisation as a system, what are the processes, what's the work that people need to do, what are the competencies required, which people do which role, where and how. It's defining that. If they don't, they're really going to struggle to compete or to, or to take advantage of the situation they're in. You, will, you have your strategy. How are you going to execute your strategy? How do you know that you're going to be effective in doing that? The first part is to actually understand that strategy. Why are you trying to get to where you're trying to get to? And then it's saying, well, how do you get the right people in the right place doing the right thing so you can achieve that? So a very common example is when you have a big event like a merger and two organisations are coming together and you've got thousands of people doing similar things and similar functions. How do you know which people are most appropriate to get which role? So in doing that you define the work, you define how much is needed in the new entity and then you have to work out who's going to get which role and why. So with that we would advocate a competency based approach saying which competencies are needed for each role who's got the best set of competencies, which people, and that has to be done in a fair and transparent way, and then manage that transition and manage the tracking of your organisation against the goals that you set yourself and coming up with that merger in the first place. I, I think way too often people see organisation design as a one-off event, and that's a big, big mistake, it's a big flaw. The world is not broken into an as-is and a to-be state. It's continuous and ever-evolving. It has to be a core competency of, a, of an organisation to continually evolve and take advantage of opportunities and deal with threats and, and changes in circumstances. And with that, it means forever maintaining your organisation and, and, and improving it. It's a continuous, ongoing task.